Hey everybody, Ash here for the Triple S League with a guide to fighting Envisioned in Dishonored Death of the Outsider. Envisioned are creatures that you run into in Mission 5 of the game after you interact with the Eye of the Dead God and wind up in the Void, which is kind of a uh, sort of an echo of the mining complex that you were in at the beginning part of the mission. Envisioned are dangerous because basically they're a one-shot kill. If they hit you with those glowing spikes on their arms, even on easy, it's pretty much a one-shot kill. On the plus side, they move very slowly, so it's not too difficult to stay out of range of their attacks. But you do have to be careful because they can blink, and they, they only seem to be able to do it once every several seconds. Um, but if you get a good distance away, they will likely blink to try and get closer to you. Their blink also allows them to follow you up onto rooftops and other ledges, so you need to be careful of that. Now their attacks can be blocked, just be careful because they can sometimes surprise you with a, with a number of attacks in quick succession. And especially if you block one of their primary attacks and then immediately attack with the sword, they will immediately counterattack again. They also have a secondary attack, a ranged attack, that is like a harpoon. If you see them drawing back one of their arms, uh, they're about to use their ranged attack and they use it to pull you close to them so they can attack you with their primary attack, which basically kills you. The range on the harpoon attack is limited. Also, it can be blocked, and it's fairly easy to avoid if you move out of the way just as they're attacking. So it is possible to fight the envisioned up close, but the best idea is usually uh, to use some kind of ranged attack. By the way, drop assassinations do nothing, so don't even try. Envisioned are impervious to any kind of energy-based attack, so that includes your Void Strike. That also includes Incendiary Bolts. Literally do nothing. Um, your Electrical Burst does nothing. They won't even trigger Hook Mines, so um, Hook Mines are essentially useless. What is effective, however, is anything that does physical or impact damage, so grenades. Grenades are fairly effective, as long as you can get the grenade to detonate fairly close to where they actually are. Sticky grenades are actually really useful, because they will take damage from the actual impact of the grenade itself, as well as the grenade detonating. Spring Razors are very effective. If they will trigger the Spring Razor, and it's usually enough to do enough damage to get them into their prone state. Hyperbaric grenades work. Your most reliable ranged attack, however, is your Voltaic Shot, which, I mean, depending on your difficulty level and how much you've upgraded it, might only take one or two shots to bring them down. Now, once you've done enough damage, they enter this prone state um, in which they sort of recharge their health, and they get up again after a few seconds. But it's in this state they're vulnerable. The only way to kill them is to get them into this vulnerable state and attack them using your sword. That takes care of them permanently, but that is the only way to actually kill them. Like any other enemy, you can keep track of the envisioned with your foresight, and you can mark them to see where they are and where they're planning to go. Envisioned are not fooled by you using semblance. If you're impersonating a cultist, uh, they will still attack you. Another thing that Envisioned will sometimes do is summon Void Effigies. Void Effigies are not terribly tough. They do have a projectile vomit attack that does a decent amount of damage, but which, amusingly, they often will sometimes kill themselves with. <laughs> but other than that, just fight them basically like you would fight any normal guard enemy in the game. The most dangerous thing about Void Effigies is that they can distract you while the Envisioned are moving in for the attack. So when you're fighting them, always stay on the move and uh, make sure that you don't let an Envisioned sneak up behind you while you're fighting them. It appears that only certain Envisioned will actually spawn the Void Effigies, but I have seen them spawn up to three at once. So just be aware of that. You might find yourself uh, suddenly very outnumbered. Of course, you don't absolutely have to fight the Envisioned. If you want, you can just avoid them and sneak on past. Uh, they do count as a kill in your kill counter. So if you're going for a non-lethal playthrough, 
uh, you will want to avoid taking down these guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and sub, and I will talk to you later. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like.